now that we have created various roads around our environment including curved surfaces tight and narrow right head turns u-turns uh, using simple brushes uh, we need to begin to block these areas off with using brushes props and terrain we're going to start off with a basic intersection and we're going to use brushes to create sidewalks and then just uh, go from there so the first step is to create sidewalks using simple brushes so let's go into the top view I'm just going to take these PSP brushes I'm going to resize them and I'm going to duplicate them and create sidewalks and I'm going to duplicate them onto the other side so we have sidewalks on each side and I'm going to push them up 8 units and then we need to texture them so here let's go to our face edit sheet and let's click on browse under filter we can type in curb we have few curved surfaces uh, that we can add for the side of the sidewalk I'm just gonna add these to the side and apply the texture to the side of the brush and then we can go and uh, filter concrete and we can uh, go through some of the various concrete options that we have that we can apply on top of the sidewalk we can also go back into and filter road we can also uh, use some of these road textures and we'll have to scale them in so the textures are not stretched out so here we have a basic curb created now this would be the basic way to create curb and sidewalks now to take it a step further uh, most of the sidewalks, especially at right-hand turns and left-hand turns or intersections, they are curved along with the road. So just like we have our texture shown that it's curving around, uh, we will need to do something very similar with our curb. So another way to do so is to use the same method that we used before on creating wedges or tight right-hand turns. So what we need to do is we need, first we need to create the space to where our wedge is going to go. So let's go into the block tool and under primitives we're going to set objects to arch. We need to draw this out and we have a brush that's set 80 by 80. So let's click enter. Now wall width needs to be half of the brush. So in our case it's going to be 40. Number of sides set to 8. This is fine. Uh, we're going to uh, start angle let's try 90 and this is what we need because we want our curve to be curving on to the road along with this line and if we treat this preview as a top down view uh, this is how the brush is going to be created and then at height we're gonna set this at 0 click OK and then we can take this brush and we can drag it right in here now we can simply take the texture on the side here Alt right click onto the curb so the texture curves along with the surface and then we have uh, a wedge for our curb now we also have this gap so we can simply fix this by going into the side view and I'm going to bring this up so it matches the top of the road and I'm just simply going to take this brush and I'm going to duplicate it and now I'm going to extend this brush here and then duplicate it on here so now we have a curved surface sidewalk and this area blocked off and then we can treat this area with a texture that sort of uh, more matches to uh, this curve so this method would be the most basic and simplest way to block off and create sidewalks now to take this a step further we can begin using props to create curves if we click on to the entity tool under objects go under prop static let's place this and let's go into the properties and under world model click on browse and under filter type in curb and in left of that too we have various curbs that we can use so we have curved curb and we have a, a less curved curb and we have various other straight curves that we can use so first let's let's use this for our corner let's take this and let's position it right alongside right over here 
and let's bring this down and then we need to rework our brushes and pull in some of these brushes so we can create uh, more space where the curb is going to go so here we have our wedge we have a prop static for the curb that adds a little bit more detail to the side of the sidewalk so then we can simply take this uh, we can duplicate it change this world model to uh, something else to the, a more straight curb here's curb straight that's 128 units so we can take this we can rotate it and if we take a look at here on the side we have our curb and then we can begin to take this curb and just simply duplicate it along the entire sidewalk and we're going to take these three and we're going to duplicate them on to the other side so this is a more detailed way a little better way to create sidewalks uh, and begin blacking out the street and then if we want to begin to add buildings we can simply uh, continue from here and now that we have our sidewalk just begin to expand further and add further detail to the environment now let's browse for a texture let's uh, type in building so here we have our intersection we have our curb our sidewalk and a simple building with a player scale for reference so we can take a look at how this looks along with a human reference in here so this is a basic way to block off and begin creating sidewalks and curbs uh, to detail more of around the road so here I spent about 10 minutes just making uh, the sidewalk and the, uh, the street intersection a little bit more believable I swapped out the curb with a more of what it matches our road so I got rid of this little nasty pavement underneath that we had shown I replaced the texture on top of the sidewalk and I added a few props as well as replaced the texture on the building so you can see that this is a very powerful method for creating your sidewalks and with a few more prop statics around that you can really create a, a believable environment